soon. Hey you guys, it's your girl Shy Town Blue here. I am so excited about this morning. It is a beautiful morning out here. Just rising and enjoying just the setting. I want you guys to know that you guys are worth it. Anything that you guys are facing right now in life, understand and know that the haters are gonna come to try to steal you away from your purpose and your destiny. Don't allow them to, whatever you do. Know that mistakes happen and wrong choices are always gonna be made, but if you set yourself up to surround your circle with positive energy, <laughs> then you're going to make it. I'm still smiling at the end of the day. I had conquered cancer. As you guys know, on January the 12th, I was, if you're new to the channel, YouTube channel, I was diagnosed with having cancer. It was a rare form. So what happened to me was that I um, was at home, minding my own business, and threw up four times. And right before... I went to the hospital, I did my own uh, Google search of the symptoms and took that information in to the doctors ahead of time before the surgery. Always take ownership of your health. Don't give that over to someone else. Do the research. If you know that your body's not doing the right things, research that thing and find out, you know, what makes you tick, it'll help. And so I compared my notes to the doctors who only had a guess. They weren't really sure. And so right before they put me to sleep, I went on and, and shared with them what I thought was, you know, what was the issue. And so after the surgery, they didn't tell me, you know, ahead of time, but I, after going for a follow-up after the surgery, found out it was a uh, tumor in the end line of my stomach i carried that thing for about a year and the symptoms were headaches real bad um you know tired all the time and never knew until it ruptured that i had an issue and that setting was like i was in my bathroom after i threw up and then i had to lay on the floor because i felt very weak and my hemoglobin levels should have been at a 12 or 17. I was at a six on my way out, funeral arrangements made. Um, and to gain the support of my circle who helped me through that, you never know who's really down for you until you reach a tragedy in your life. And then you find out who your soldiers are. And I'm grateful for my crew because they were there for me when I needed them. Um, and so I didn't give that over to my health over to the doctors. I took control over that and said, this is what I need to do. Now I'm walking, I'm walking. And so it's all about body maintenance and upkeep. Um, I do my walking in the morning while the weather's nice right now. I'm pushing myself to walk a hill. I have a hill and I want to do that twice as often as I can to get around it. Every step that I make is a fight against cancer. So I want you guys to know that. Um, I want to talk to you guys about this voices movement. I've seen many dance movies around the years. And I wanted to do a dance movie that would celebrate the life and legacy of Michael Jackson, but come from a woman's perspective. So I fell in love with uh, the show on Disney called Shake It Up, Shake It Up Chicago, of course, um, that starred a little uh, spitfire by the name of Zendaya, and I would love for her to uh, spearhead this project. I would love for her and Janet and Angela Bassett, all three of them, to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. We just need to see that fire. Um, and I believe that she comes from a cool legacy and at least that's what I see on TV and interviews and stuff like that um, but I really believe that through her body of work she would solidify this project it would be totally epic um, I would love for Janet to executive produce it um, in 2011 she 
signed a contract with Lionsgate to executive produce different projects. But I never heard anything. All I heard was about her music, which was real cool. So I would love her blessing on this project. Fantasia is another artist that I would love to come on board. This is all my dream cast. Um, she would play Lorenz Tate's little sister. And she's a spitfire as well. I love her body of work too. Um, when she was in Lifetime's Her Own Story, I watched that and that's what really got me like looking at her not just as a performer but as an actress as well and if you're just willing to be that open I'm, I'm, I want to work with you um, also uh, Lorenz Tate would have a role um, Justin Timberlake he would be the bad guy now, see, I, I had a lot of feedback about Justin here's the thing with me I love the color purple but I'm pissed at Danny Glover so I totally get it, but that wouldn't stop me from watching The Color Purple. It's just, it's just I didn't like him. But my thing is, is that it's acting. It's not real. So I think that he would be a good fit as a bad boy. Uh, people love to hate him. So I would love for him to bring that energy to the set on this project as well. Um, so it would be good versus evil, of course. And the good would be Lawrence Tate and the evil would be Justin Timberlake. I think that they would be a good match and fit for each other. Totally. Um, what happened was that there were a lot of stories, backstory about his voices movement. There were a lot of stories in Chicago, sometimes newspaper geared towards our young people passing away. And we never got the opportunity to really find out what these kids uh, dreams were or ambitions in life were all we saw were the obituaries and I wanted to take a story of a young lady who was fictitious half fictitious half true um, and just give her life a meaning and have that same question what would your legacy say if you know things in your life didn't pan out the way that you may have wanted them to um, and so without being a spoiler about it, I wanted to create a world that would celebrate again the life and legacy of MJ and have tons of dancing and romance and uh, whodunit, <laughs> all of those elements into this musical. And I do believe that it's something for the box office. I really believe in that. Um, so just keep your fingers crossed for me. And I love you guys. I'm going to finish my walk now. Love you. Bye.